Australia, the sixth largest country in the world by area, is currently grappling with a significant crisis that has far-reaching implications for its future. Known for its high standard of living and generous salaries, Australia is facing challenges that threaten its economic stability and social fabric. The nation is celebrated for its stunning landscapes, which include the iconic Sydney Opera House and the breathtaking Great Barrier Reef. It is also home to unique wildlife, such as kangaroos, koalas, and a diverse range of marine species, many of which are found nowhere else on Earth. This remarkable natural beauty and rich cultural heritage make Australia a top destination for millions of tourists each year, enhancing its global reputation. Geographically, Australia is unique as it is the only country that is also a continent, situated in the southern Indian Ocean. Approximately 90% of its landmass is covered by deserts, which significantly impacts its population distribution. This vast arid landscape results in about 85% of Australians living along the coastline, where major urban centres like Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane are located. These cities are not only economic hubs but also cultural melting pots, showcasing Australia's multicultural society and diverse population. To truly understand Australia's current demographic trends, one must delve into its rich history. The continent remained largely undiscovered until the early 17th century when Dutch explorer Willem Janszoon became the first European to set foot on its shores in 1606. His arrival marked the beginning of a long history of exploration and eventual colonisation. In 1770, British explorer Captain James Cook charted the eastern coast and claimed it for Britain, leading to significant interactions, both peaceful and contentious, with indigenous populations whose rich cultural heritage dates back tens of thousands of years. Australia's global fame surged during the mid-19th century gold rush, particularly after gold was discovered in Bathurst in 1851. This discovery attracted a massive influx of immigrants from around the world, eager to seek their fortunes in this vast land. The population dramatically increased as these new settlers contributed to the development of the nation. In 1901, the six Australian colonies united to form the Commonwealth of Australia, marking a new chapter in its history. Initially, immigration policies favoured individuals of European descent, effectively excluding many non-white immigrants. It wasn't until 1967 that significant reforms were made to allow a more diverse influx, which laid the foundation for Australia to evolve into a multicultural society. In contemporary times, Australia is often recognised for its high quality of life, friendly atmosphere and robust economy. The country boasts a strong education system and attracts a large number of international students each year, contributing significantly to its economic prosperity. However, despite these advantages, Australia is currently facing a substantial housing affordability crisis that threatens the well-being of many residents. Major cities like Sydney and Melbourne have become some of the most expensive places to live globally. While the average annual salary has seen substantial growth over the decades, the cost of housing has skyrocketed even more dramatically. For instance, in the 1970s, the average annual salary was around $20,000, while a typical house cost approximately $70,000. Fast forward to today, and the average salary has risen to about $74,000, but the price of an average home in Sydney has surged to around $1.5 million. This stark contrast highlights the growing disparity between wages and housing costs, making home ownership increasingly unattainable for many Australians. As a result, this crisis has led to one of the highest levels of household debt in the world, 
as many individuals and families struggle to keep up with rising mortgage payments and living expenses. The escalating cost of living in these cities has compounded the financial stress on many residents, forcing some to seek affordable housing options in less populated areas or consider alternative living arrangements. The growing population, largely fueled by immigration, intensifies the demand for housing, while the supply struggles to keep pace. Each year, Australia welcomes hundreds of thousands of immigrants, many of whom settle in the already crowded urban centres. This influx contributes significantly to the cultural diversity of the nation but also puts immense pressure on the housing market. The government faces a challenging balancing act. While it recognises the necessity of maintaining a steady flow of skilled immigrants to support various industries, it must also address the pressing need for affordable housing. Current immigration policies have become more stringent, focusing on attracting individuals with specific skills that match the country's labour market needs. This change aims to ensure that the economy can thrive while addressing the immediate housing crisis. Looking ahead, Australia is exploring various strategies to tackle this pressing issue. Initiatives include investing in infrastructure to support agricultural projects in less populated areas, potentially encouraging population dispersal. By developing new communities outside major cities, the government hopes to alleviate some of the pressure on the housing market and create new opportunities for residents. However, these plans will take time to implement, and immediate solutions are crucial. Policymakers are considering measures to increase housing supply, such as easing zoning restrictions, promoting the construction of affordable housing units, and incentivizing developers to build in underserved areas. In conclusion, Australia is a nation of contrasts, a country rich in natural beauty and cultural diversity, yet facing significant challenges related to housing and population growth. As it navigates this crisis, it will be essential for the government and communities to work collaboratively 